Transforming desert into productive land is not easy, but it's really possible. Hi, good day to everyone, Richard Aguilar here and once again Arthur here and welcome back again to our channel. But before we start, be sure to subscribe and smash the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Desert greening is the process of man-made reclamation of deserts for ecological reasons, farming and forestry but also for reclamation of natural water systems and other ecological systems that support life. And that's exactly what China is doing. So today, you will see how China transforms their desert regions into productive lands. And alright, without further delay, let's begin with our number one. Number one is the Barren Plateau turned into lush land. Stark barren land turned into lush green fields. Decades of afforestation converts dusty and dismal lowest plateau in northwest China into beautiful green forests. The lowest plateau spans seven provincial level regions in northwest China. Fossil remains prove humans have lived here for more than 1.5 million years. But gradually, overgrazing and deforestation stripped away vegetation and eroding the soil. In 1998, Wuchi County in Shanxi launched China's first program to return farmland to forest. So far, 163,000 hectares of forest have been rebuilt. Number 2 is Greening China's Deserts Spanning 18,600 square kilometers, the Kabuchi Desert sits on a curve of the Yellow River in the Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region and once threatened to bury the entire region. Over the past three decades, that expansion has been curtailed and reversed. Shrubs and trees now grow on around one-third of the Kabuchi. Sandstorms are much less frequent and more than 100,000 locals can no longer be considered poor. United Nations Environment Program is encouraging other countries battling deserts to look to the Kabuchi for inspiration. Number 3 is Watch how China is creating green life. Industrialization in the West and rapid development in China have brought severe punishments down on humanity. As the contradictions between economic growth and environmental protection have intensified, China has faced a test of resolve, courage and sense of responsibility.
China has invested over 110 billion yuan in restoring the country's marine ecology in the past five years. In tackling desertification by reducing the area of deserts by nearly 2,000 square kilometers on average a year, China has already achieved the goal set by the UN of zero desert growth by 2030. Number 4 is China converts desert into green space. For decades, the inhabitants of Zhongwei City in southwest China's Ningxia Hui Autonomous Region watched a sea of sand ebb closer and closer to their homes, covering their streets crops and roads, cutting them off from trade, transport and prosperity. They were helpless against the rising tide of the Tengger Desert. Farmers were forced to leave their homes as the sand engulfed their properties. In the 1950s, scientists and locals joined forces in perhaps the most ambitious anti-desertification project of the 20th century. Without any cutting-edge technology, machinery, or chemicals, hundreds of people worked over the decades, turning the desert into land capable of cultivating apples and trees. Number 5 is, this is how hard it is to build the world's largest forest. The Saihanba Forest Farm is the world's largest man-made forest, a 750 square kilometer barrier situated 300 kilometers north of Beijing, saving the Chinese capital from desertification. Overlooking the Sea of Green, it would be hard to fathom that some half century ago, the area was once a barren wasteland. The forestry workers have overcome extreme weather and living conditions over the years. The highest temperature in the area is around 33 degrees Celsius, while the lowest is around minus 43 degrees Celsius. Some areas are covered in snow for 7 months a year, and others are affected by a gale and sandstorm. Number 6 is, forestry enthusiasts planted 5 million trees in a decade. A Chinese afforestation team has planted 5 million trees over the past decade, greening 50 square kilometer of mountainous terrain. The average age of the team members is 65. In the 1950s, 
only 2% of Xi County was covered by trees, leading to severe erosion. But now, they are all over the mountains in the county. concludes this video for today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and share this with others. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. And this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.